to speak multiple languages and how to go abroad. Today we have Atsumatta. Yes. Atsumatta. Yay! You've seen, I mean, a couple of different people on the channel, but these are the main, the main babies. You know Anna's face. You don't know Rasmus, but he edits a lot, I and do that. you'll see him in the new things now. <laughs> okay, so what are we talking about today? We're talking about fluency. fluency. Woo! Woo! Okay. <laughs> Let's start here. Why are we talking about this? You know? Yeah. Like fluency, although seems to be an easy enough concept, there's actually quite a lot of debate on what fluency is. Everyone has a slightly different image of what it means to be fluent, and I mean, in our you know language learning community, it's quite an important word because fluency, at least we can all agree, equals competency, right? It's important because when you can call yourself fluent, that means you you've reached you 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 are really good in your language, right? Yeah. So it's kind of important, you know. How else are you going to feel accomplished? Because I always think fluency would be like native speaker. Yeah. Like even if you're a native speaker, I think you know there will be people that are not really fluent mm. in the language. Mm. No? Yeah. Yeah. So, I think like, so maybe. So wait, so are you saying like fluency means like can speak the language with no mistakes? No, that's why I'm saying like mm. but especially for example in Italy where I come from there are a lot of like elderly people who cannot speak Italian properly mm. because they spoke only dialects mm. so they're not like they're less fluent in Italian than mm. like a, a foreigner that is gonna like learn Italian mm. it's like okay. you have said about English before too that like for example I'm Swedish so I've been studying English since I was like seven years old and apparently I am more fluent in English than most than a lot of American people <laughs> I know that like 50% of our viewers are Americans, but you guys have to admit that your English level is not Not everybody, of course. <laughs> no, of course, very few people, especially you guys are interested in languages. So yeah, exactly. Probably... Yeah, yeah we don't count. Our, our crew doesn't count. So... <laughs> You're special. So, yeah. Live, love, langers. Lang langers. <laughs> well, we should come up with something. <laughs> if you think of something good, you can put it in the comments down below. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so for me, being fluent, yeah. my definition that I've kept with me mm -hmm. is that when you can have a conversation without having to think in another language first. Yeah, okay. So, you know, a lot of times you can speak very well, like a Japanese person, for example, who speaks English well enough to understand everything, but you can tell that they're, they're speaking mm. in translations, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. They're thinking I wouldn't call in that Japanese fluent. and then translating. Right. Yeah. I call that very good at English, but I wouldn't call that fluent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I get, get it. Yeah. Also, can I add something? It's sure. not only that, okay. in my opinion, but also like not worrying about the words that you're using, but mm. more like, like leaving the conversations, understanding, being able to... like Because my Japanese friends told me like she's trying to speak English with my colleague but like and his colleague tries to speak Japanese to her but actually like their conversation are not genuine oh. because both of them are really trying hard to speak mm. the language and they don't feel like they're actually adding uh. to their relationship with the conversation it's just like language practicing like it's shallow they don't yeah. actually have meaning in the things that they say yes exactly practice things yeah so like what I thought is what you can be considered fluent in a language when you actually build relationships and like mm. like build them and keep them in time and like grow them and stuff in that language if you drink like a glass of wine or something which is not like drinking too much no. you can become more fluent in the language you're learning ah that's true because you stop worrying about what you're saying and you're more like Free. Yeah, exactly. yeah. It's it's part of it. People always say that when they get drunk, all of a sudden they can speak the language. Mm. And it's actually not that you automatically learn more words or you automatically understand the grammar better. Actually, it's more like you just um, you don't have so many like bars against you. You know, uh, like using something like yeah, not exactly, not being yeah. self-conscious. You can like just you're free to make mistakes in other words. Yeah. And that's really I think and that that's a good point. Like. Fluent does not equal perfect, you exactly. know? Exactly. So making mistakes, 
native speakers make mistakes all the time. Oh, yeah. They don't. They don't. I mean, in fact, native speakers are the ones that won't even notice or realize that that's a mistake. Like, mm. wasn't that correct? You know, mm -hmm. a native speaker says um a million times too. A mm -hmm. native speaker forgets the word that comes to their to the tip of their tongue. You know, it's not about how accurate you are. Rather, it's about being able to just. You have those be confident about those mistakes mm -hmm. and be able to carry the conversation. Yeah. That's the most important. Can you carry a conversation, a genuine conversation, which is Anna's Anna's point, mm -hmm. right? A genuine conversation without like making it awkward. Kind yeah. Of, mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah, because if you think about oh my god, I made a mistake, I didn't say that S and the plural of the word or something like that, and you think about it and you don't keep the conversation going, like maybe the person you're speaking to didn't even notice exactly. that you made a mistake, but you're like um, interrupting the conversation by thinking about it and it's just gonna be bad in general and not helping anybody. Yeah. Yeah. Any yeah. input? Like, these are all great points, which I would have brought up. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Pro tip, if you want to see more fluent and you actually all learn all the interjections, like all the mm-ms and all of those words in the oh, language yeah. you're true. learning. But it's true, that's so true. Yeah, exactly. Oh that's my true. god. Yes, like Japanese people say, mm, eto, mm, to, nan, ano, uh, ano, nanka, eto, sore desu ne, sore wa, ano, ah, ah, sore ne, ah, are desu ne, are, are desu ne. <laughs> yeah, Japan is like the king of those. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. every, and so, you know, Japanese people use them all the time. But in other languages too, like in Spanish, one of the things that would make you sound more fluent in mm. Spanish is if you don't say um. Once you say um, everyone knows, ah, you're not a native speaker. Yeah, you have yeah. to say m with the e. Yeah. And then it's like, eh. <laughs> we <laughs> do this in Italian. La cosa, eh. <laughs> 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 Lo que es, eh. To anybody in the language community, fluency is like the most stressful topic, you know, because yeah. Like, that is your end goal, mm. you know? A lot of people try to take that from you, you know? Say, so for example, I would say that Anna is fluent in English, mm. right? Um, and I would say, but she has like Italian accent, but nothing's wrong with that. Like most people, if you come from another country, right? You have a fucking accent. If you come like, from a native speaking English exactly. country, you have an accent. Exactly, exactly, yeah, exactly. Or like, you know, I consider myself fluent in Korean, right? There, I do not know everything in the world in Korean, right? But I can have full conversations and watch TV shows without subtitles and I'm comfortable, mm -hmm. right? But a lot of people consider fluent being like native, yeah. meaning you can you know, pass all the tests, you can, you know, see a kotowaza, like a, yeah. like a, the old idiom or something, mm -hmm. and you understand it. Like, yeah. that's fluent to them. So if you claim you're fluent in this, especially in a community as large as ours on the internet, they'll be like, oh, but you're not fluent, or who are you to say blah, blah, blah. But I think yeah. that's one of the wonderful things about being fluent, is that you make your own definition. Mm. of the word. What's fluent to you might not be the same as same as what's fluent to me or Anna or anyone else. Yeah. So that's wonderful. Is being fluent only uh, about being able to speak good? Well, <laughs> it's been good. Good question. Um, I think most times people think about speaking when you say fluent yeah. because like the word fluent sounds like fluid, right? So it's about like being able to ramble, right? Yeah. But, but, yeah, reading or something yeah. might have a very fluent activity to it, you know? Like, I, I'm sure, but then again, you have native speakers who I guess are not fluent, but I don't know, they, they who are illiterate, right? Yeah. yeah. So, I don't I know. I mean, yeah, because I, I would say that I am kind of fluent in Japanese, but I'm, I'm really not fluent in reading Japanese. Mm. Mm. Like, if yeah. it's like one, two words, whatever, I can read it like that. But it's like reading a book in Japanese, yeah. it's so hard. Yeah, yeah same here. Yeah. I, 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 even reading out loud for me, if I look at it, I have this ability. I think a lot of people end up getting that way living in Japan yeah. because you see the kanji everywhere. So it's kind of like seeps into the, your, the mm -hmm. deep consciousness of your brain. Yeah, yeah. But when you start reading it, like out loud, like if I see it, I can tell you what it says. Yeah. But if I had to actually read it word for yeah. word, I might not actually be telling you. You know, like it. It sounds broken. And yeah. Gross. yeah. Yeah. Like I'm like reading out loud is crazy difficult in the Japanese. Like I, 
I can't read children's books at like Shogakse level without something completely broken. Yeah. It's completely Like after skill. a couple times, three times that you read it, you will be like, okay, I mm. get it. Yeah, like in my head it sounds perfect, but then when I actually try and read it out loud, it's just like, nope. Yeah. Well, yeah. When I went to Korea for the, fir for the first time, um, I was going to kind of elevate my literacy because in my opinion, I was already fluent before I went to Korea, but um, I couldn't really write. So people would talk to me and then when they would see my writing, like I used to keep a, a daily journal in Korean for like a year. And when my friends would look at it, because I'd have them correct it for me, they'd be like, are you a elementary school student? Like, um, how old are you, five? <laughs> I would say I was fluent, but I wasn't necessarily literate. So perhaps there needs to be like either maybe a dual term to this i don't know maybe mm -hmm. we should think about like a term to cop for this kind of thing you know mm. like, yeah we, we should come mm. up with a new word that means both literate and fluent i guess like yes as you said in the, like in the beginning fluent usually means how you speak mm. so like then you can add like fluent in reading fluent in writing or something like this but i, I think when we when we talk about fluency it's usually uh, about how you can like speak and I'm gonna make the word literate. Yeah. I am it's not our literate. word now. Okay, pro tip. Are you're fluent, okay, but are you literate? Okay. <laughs> I didn't think so. You have more work to do. It, oh I see what you mean. It's like literate and fluent. That's right. <laughs> are you literate in your target language? I'm literally only um literate in like two languages i think because i'm not really that literate in Patsa either in Japan. like i'm okay mm. i guess but i'm not that great to be honest if you gave me a full book in in Patsa, it takes me a little longer mm. um than in english and um oh, cool. but in korean know. i'm pretty good i thought you were fluent literate yeah <laughs> i well so i can't okay maybe maybe i'm being hard on myself but because it's my native language that's why i'm hard on myself but like i got a book recently this is a whole other divergence but i got a book divergence. i got a book in patso that had chapters in patso and i could totally read it it wasn't an issue but it it's still like i sometimes i had to think twice about a certain sentence or something like that mm -hmm. so perhaps i am fluiderant but not as fluiderant as i would like yeah okay okay depends on you like where do you put your goal like yeah. what rasmus said before so like do, are you fine with just talking about the weather or would you like to have a deep conversation about human life and the reason for the existence of the human beings on the earth yeah with the people that you want to talk with like yeah, so like true. you put the limit right like for yeah. example i don't think i'll ever want like ever need to speak about like science talk or like deep politics in japanese perhaps yeah. just enough to explain my my opinion but i don't really think i need jargons mm -hmm. so for me mm -hmm. i don't need to learn jargons but if you're the kind of person all right i want to be an academic in japan I want to be on the top field about talking about, I don't know, uh, cultural developments in Japan. Then for you, your goal for literacy will be different, okay? Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, like for example, I've been studying Japanese culture at university, but in Italian. And it happens to me sometimes when I try to explain to Japanese people what I studied, I don't have the words in Japanese to say, like what what I know etc so it seems like I don't know but I know it's so like frustrating so I've been uh, meaning to like look into that more but that doesn't mean that you need to do that to know Japanese language for example mm, that's true right quote my boyfriend just use it the language so like you cannot get fluent in a language if you don't speak it Exactly, and that includes making mistakes, not being afraid to make mistakes. Yeah, because I think like, yeah. yeah. Now the first thing is overcome your self-consciousness mm. and then just like using it whenever you can. Yeah. Mm. All the time. Mm. Dragging people and be like, please speak yeah. with me. Like, yeah, exactly. Exactly. I, so let's, let's try to make a summary definition real quick. Okay. 
okay? So I started out by saying fluency is when you can speak without having to think in another language. Yes, I do. So that was my first piece. And then Anna, she added that you have to be able to continue a conversation genuinely. Mm -hmm. So add, add things to a conversation, not just like, Tech, hi, how are you? Yes. Nice to meet you. Yes, the weather is kind of oh, shitty today. Thank Sorry, you. I cannot say shitty. Thank you. Totto, worry ですね. But isn't that every Japanese conversation? Yes, it is. Yes, which makes <laughs> Japanese fluency difficult. This is a whole other conversation you could have. I think that's the end all question, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Are you literate? Can you read, write, and speak fairly well in your target language? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was more of an open forum kind of video, and we hope that it got you thinking about a lot of things, so that you. We'll share some of your thoughts with us. We hope to be making more videos, the three of us, in the future since we're all here. So if you want to see more videos from us about these kind of things, then you can subscribe or you can press the like button if we said anything that made sense to you. Brownie points if you put like hashtag literacy somewhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hashtag literance. New hashtag. I'm gonna do something with that. Let's, let's make this trending. All right. So see you guys next time. Bye. 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 Bye.